Now, Corey, a strange thing happened to me the other day. I was at the grocery store, and they had a big stack of these cartons, and at the top of the stack was a sign. It said, your favorite drink, 49 cents. That puzzled me, Corey, because I thought, how did they know what my favorite drink is at the grocery store? But anyway, it was only half a buck. I bought one. I took it home. I poured it out. Sure enough. It was chocolate milk. It was my favorite drink. That was amazing to me. Now, Corey, do you like a little bit of chocolate in your milk, or you like a whole lot of chocolate? A little. A little. You're like me. When I was your age, my favorite part of the school day was the milk break. I always had the chocolate milk. Now, I promised you a glass of chocolate milk, and there you go. That's for you. Go ahead. I want you to take a sip of that and tell me if you think that's good chocolate milk or not. Does that taste good to you? Then I got to thinking, Corey, about that sign. It said, your favorite drink, 49 cents. I thought, well, maybe some of these people don't like chocolate milk. Maybe some people out there prefer white milk. What if they buy one? <laughs> it's amazing. Then I thought, well, maybe some people don't like white milk or chocolate milk. Maybe some people prefer strawberry-flavored milk. I love chocolate milk, but I don't drink it all the time. When I get up in the morning, I prefer a big glass of orange juice. Then about noon, when I'm having my burger and fries, I prefer a cola. Now, I know some of the guys out there don't drink cola. Guys, when you're watching the football game on the weekends and eating pizza, what are you drinking? That's right, ginger ale. I badly misjudged the audience once again. So we have a beer for the guys out there. And when it gets really hot, like it does here in Las Vegas in the summers, the best thing to cool you down is a big glass of lemonade. And that's about all the drinks we have. Now folks, we have half a dozen drinks here. We have strawberry milk, orange juice, cola, a ginger ale, beer, and lemonade. We're gonna pass these out into the audience. If you're thirsty, if you'd like one, take your favorite drink. There's no charge. And Corey, I want you to hold on to the milk carton for me. We're gonna step down this way. Hold that carton up real high over your head. I want everybody to see that carton for the next minute. Don't let that milk carton go out of people's sights. Step right down this way. We're gonna watch Marcia. She hands out the drinks. Wonderful. There you go. Oh, and that she's she's going. It, she went for the beer. Is that it? She, she took the beer. She took the beer, and he took the uh, ginger ale. We have an orange juice drinker. We have a fellow there going for the cola. We have a lemonade drinker, and we have strawberry milk left. Strawberry milk left. There we go. Now, every do you drink beer? Pass it down to this gentleman. He looks like a beer drinker. There he, oh, here's a beer drinker. <laughs> okay. Everybody that took a drink, stand up right where you are. Stand up. You don't have to come up on stage. Just stand up all together now. Taste the drink. Savor the drink. Chug the drink if you feel like it. We'll start with this gentleman. Which one did you get? Ginger ale. And is it real? Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sit down. And which one did you get, dear? Orange juice. Is that real orange juice in there? Thank you, dear. You can sit down. Which one did you get? Lemonade. You feel cooler already? Can you taste those lemons? You can sit down. Which one did you get? Cola. Is that real cola? Thank you, you can sit down. The lady there, which one did you get? Strawberry. Strawberry milk. Is that real milk in that glass? Thank you, you can sit down. And the Oh, she's finished the beer. Look, she's chugging. <laughs> Is that real beer? Thank you, you can sit down. Corey, you got real chocolate milk. That puzzled me for the longest time. I kept thinking, how is that possible? How can all those drinks come out of that carton? I figured it out. There's something inside there, mixing those drinks up. There's a little mouse that lives in there. See him? <laughs> He's the one wearing the bartender's outfit. <laughs> that was my theory anyway. Then one day, I couldn't take it anymore. I just had to know how the trick worked. I tore the carton open. I was surprised to find out it was absolutely empty and unprepared. It must be magic. Take that with you. Thank you very much.